Hey subbies, how is everybody doing? I've been MIA, Listen in Action. Um, I have a hundred subscribers. So, woo, thank you, thank you um, to all my subscribers, my new subscribers. I like to thank you, and I'm gonna have to do the giveaway because that's what I said. I'm gonna do a giveaway. So, that should be my next video once I get myself together. I just trying to upload this other video. You guys, I'm getting fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. I got some connected dots here. I've been eating chocolate chip cookies, pound cake, lemon cake, peach cobbler. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Anyway, I just did my first blowout in like a year. So, my hair is uh, pretty long. You guys probably wonder what I'm doing. I wonder what I'm doing, too. You know, the video I'm trying to upload is the difference, the comparison between the Marley hair and the Havana twist hair. And yes, I paid for the Havana twist hair at $12.99 a bag. <sighs> Shame. And Marley is $5.99 a bag. So, I'm like, don't tell nobody, y'all. Like, six bags of hair, it was $90-something dollars. Anyway... What I'm going to do, you can probably see here, this, I have these two twisted because I'm going to leave this hair out because that's my middle part. And so I'm going to crochet in some Marley hair here and crochet in some Marley hair here. Um, I left, as you can see, I left this out. Okay, this is an experiment. Um, so I said, let me go ahead and record this just in case it comes out to be the bomb. And then that way, um... You'll see. So what I did, I just co-washed my hair because I did my daily wash routine. And so I co-washed it um, last night with my Weed Ads co-wash, which I love. And then I tried Herbal Essence um, Conditioner last night, too. And I did a little oil rinse. And so I just twisted it up and let it air dry and I got up this morning I used tons of grapeseed oil I never really blow dry my hair or I don't I've never flat ironed it probably one time in almost my four years of being natural but I um generally I just you know wear it curly or manipulate my hair my style my uh, hair so I did blow dry it I used a bunch of grapeseed oil Grapeseed oil, I think it's pretty good because the thing about it is if this oil is withstands high heat, and I just got it from like Whole Foods or whatever, so I got the high heat grapeseed oil. Why don't you cook with, and that's what I used to blow dry my hair. I really didn't, I have the Golden Hot um, blow dryer with the comb, and so I had it on medium, and it was like, okay, what are you doing? So I did put it on high, but I only had to put it on high for like a moment because I already had take, they were in twists. I untwisted them, you know, saturated with the oil. And then I got my big comb and combed my ends and then just ran the blow dryer through while I was done. I didn't go over it 50 million times because I'm not trying to have it straight, straight, you know, like a bone straight. I'm not looking for that look at all. I was just trying to really be able to figure out how I'm going to do this style. So as I said, I'm going to crochet the hair and the video I showed you, this is the hair. It's not really, it, it'll blend, it'll be okay because like I said, I have the other color here that I showed you in the other video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started. It shouldn't take me long. So as long as this is a hit and it made, um, you know, and it made the channel whatever, or made my channel, then that means it worked out real good. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get finished as soon as possible and go from there. Hey, guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And, okay. This is the progress thus this far. I would have been finished, but the pat I was using too much hair. You know, I have smaller braids, and I felt that I was using too much hair. And so I went back and thinned it out. And actually, I still end up using... About the same amount of hair, I just broke it up. Um, so, I'm sorry, y'all know I'm trying to use this iPad, and it's I don't know what it's doing, I don't know whether it's recording or not. But, anywho, let me give you a little looky loo. 
So remember in the first sex, the part of the video, I showed you that I had was going to leave these out. So this is what it looks like, the crochet part. And like I said, I use smaller hair. I mean smaller pieces of hair. The Havana hair. So here we go. Because it felt bulky. Like when I would put it up, I kept testing it. Um, don't ask me what I'm doing, y'all, because I told y'all. I don't know what I'm doing quite yet, but anyway, I'm doing something. So I'm going to finish the other side, which it shouldn't take me long at all because I have a rhythm going and I kind of know what I'm doing. So I will come back. Hey, y'all. I'm back, 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 back. Okay, because I got to show you something. So remember the Havana hair? I did a video of the comparison between the Havana and the Marley. And the Havana hair is stiff. It's not as soft. But what I found to work on this, any synthetic hair, especially kinky hair, is coconut oil. My hair don't like coconut oil, but it penetrates through the kinky hair too. I'm telling you. So you take that strip of hair. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to get two pieces out of here. But if I was just going to use this, then I'll get two pieces. But because I'm going to divide it, I'm going to probably do it in three to get three braids because I'm going to mix it. So I, you know, pop it out of place because remember, this is what it's going to look like, the section. Initially, I was putting like this whole section in there. No, no, no. So my hair is not, my texture isn't thick like that. It's thin. So you break this up just like this. So then I get a brush and I brush it out. Yep. I brush it right on out. I do when I do my kinky twist, I do my hair, do it just like that too. So I'm gonna break this up in threes. Three. Three, three, three. Then I have this right here. And actually I can make two out of here and add them to the hair. So I'm gonna add this and this. And actually, to me, this is still a little bit too big. So I'm going to take a piece out of that one and a piece out of here. Yeah, I made that 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 small, that small. So I roll it, roll it. Cut any excess off. Let me fix this camera so you can see because I'm hurting my arm more than anything. Trying to... So here we go here. I'm so hot up here. Oh Lord. I tell you. My husband don't be wanting me to turn the air on. Don't be wanting me. He don't want me to turn on the air. He at work in air condition. So I'm going to latch it here. Up, and then bring that in. Close it up. Bring it through. Then I'm going to take it. Just make sure there's um, that you got your, that you keep your loop. And then all I do is bring it through. I don't do all that extra knots. And not on the kinky hair, I don't. Then I'll take it and kind of compare it. And I'll cut some of it off. It's not a big thing, whatever. So, voila. So, there you have that so far. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time. Here we go. This is mm, this is thin enough. I put a little bit more coconut oil. I'm telling you, the coconut the coconut oil works. It works. It works. So roll it. I roll it. And um, I'm using my smaller latch hook um, needle. If you can see it. My smaller one. Because my braids, I didn't add any hair. And like I said, I have a finer texture of hair. So my braids are smaller. And one other thing, I'm not a professional yet. But I've noticed that when you, if you add hair to your braids when you do the crochet, then it's okay for you to make, use uh, larger pieces of hair. But if you have a finer texture and your braids are smaller, such as mine, you need to use smaller pieces of hair. 
I don't think it takes any more time than if you was taking a chunk of hair versus if you used a smaller piece of hair. And then because my braids are smaller, this is working better for me. Instead, I mean, I'm sorry, instead of this larger latch, the smaller latch hook is working better for me. Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time. So here's my, I'm out of braid, so I have no braid there. So I'm going to go back right here, and I'm going to put it through here. There's your hook. Put the hair there. Did you see that? So put the hair here. Close the latch. Bring it through. And just got to watch that. I'm trying to show y'all, but don't get the hair in there. Bring that through here. And make sure it lays flat. Okay? So I'm almost done. Truly I am. It's not going to take me long. And I will come back. I think I'm just going to be wearing a high bun, I'm sure, for right now. I can't see myself putting all of this hair in my hair. I mean, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I got connect the dots right now. Connect the dots. But we're going to fix that. Anywho. So, yeah, I'm probably going to just do, like I said, a high bun. Because I can't see myself wearing all this hair. It's too hot. It's supposed to be like 100 and something. So I'll hey, be loves, I am back and I have finished my hair. And so I came back on to let you see the final um, results of my hair. So here we go. Um, as you remember from the first parts of the video, how I was crocheting that center part that I showed you. Um, and I had a part. So I tried to do a little something up in here. I didn't like it. So it's looking a little bit better with just a full bun. Like I said, and I'll show you a back. Don't look at my neck. I'll show you the back and here's a side profile. And then here's another front profile. So anywho, um, I like the bun and I did, I twisted it, uh, did two big twists and just bun, you know, made my my bun it's not a high bun i think the next time i need to put some more me and my hair over here this one strand is like not getting along with me it want to curl up on me or whatever i want to do but i'm gonna fix that i have to conquer this strand so anyway back to business gotta get back to business so what was i saying oh so I'm not going to really get the high bun effect. I can, but I would have to put some gel. One thing about this, though, and I'm going to try it since it's crocheted in there, I will wash my hair as normal and work with this hair and see how it does. It's, I'm going to use it, you know, kind of like as a protective style. It's not too tight, you know, as to pull. And it's right in here. So the crochet is all right up in here. And actually, it stops about right here. So that, that's the top right there. You can see the top. So, like I said, so far I like it. Um, like I said, my husband, he don't believe in having the air in here. And I'm upstairs. Okay. Let me just refocus. Because if I get too hot, I can't focus. So, that's my problem. Okay. So, back to the... Now, my review of this Havana Twist hair. I purchased this hair from my own usage it was uh, this is not a sponsored video they did not send me this hair but even if they would have sent me this hair my this would still buy, be my review the Havana twist hair which you will see the difference between the Havana twist and the Marty in my uh video that should load but before this one that hair is harder and even like I said the um it's harder the 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 tech the the texture of it is harder and I use the coconut oil. The coconut oil helped it some, but it's just so stiff. It's still stiff. Well with the coconut oil and then by you brushing it as you saw in one of the other um the one of the other things that I was doing, um it made it it made it movable like if I take this down, it's kind of like a puff, and so if you shake it, it, it moves, but it's still stiff. My recommend, what I would, in my opinion, don't want to use recommendation, but in my opinion, 
I would uh, stick with buying the Marley hair for $5.99 a bag. I'm just being honest. That hair is $12.99 a bag. It, I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, you could get the same effects as if you were using the Marley hair. To me, the Marley hair is more friendly on the hands. The Rastaf Rastafarian hair, okay, I would say that if you use the Rastafarian hair and compare it to the Havana hair, I think the textures are the same. That's just me. Because there's some Marley braid hair that's a little bit softer, the fibers are softer, and so it's okay. So what I'm going to do is see how it does when I, if I wash it to keep this, you know, a bun style or whatever. I could wear my scarves like this, just keep it a couple of weeks and see how it goes or see, you know, about washing it and then I could just take them, you know, around the sides or whatever and do a light blow dry out on it or whatnot. So that's my, this is my new protective style, my high bun with the Havana twist hair. I've given you, hopefully, um, I showed you everything and how I did it, how I succeeded. I think that if you want to, like I said, this can go higher, but the back of my, my hair, it curls up and I'm trying to really, you know, find a product that's going to still give me a hold, but don't make it too wet so it don't curl up on me. So later down the line, I'm going to do some different styles and probably try to do another video. So you could see what other styles I could do with this hair. Because I think there's a lot of different things I could do. I just have to work with it. So right now, this is the end results of what I was doing. And I think I've shown you everything. And if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Let me know. And real quick, I had a comment. Karen, she's a new subscriber. And she just sent me a question about my single ease tutorial the braid pattern for that i thought i had put it on there but maybe i didn't i simply parted my hair ear to ear and i'm had like 14 braids just going back wherever i wanted my part to be which i didn't so you know i didn't really have a defined part so i made them all nicely you know i made sure that this section was nicely parted so i have 14 braids then in the back I made uh, connected each one and had seven back here so it was going back then I did a braid across and sewed it just you know to stay together so I I, I thought I had put the that um there how I did that and maybe I didn't so it was my bad I'm sorry so anyway um other than that please rate and subscribe and until we oh I'm gonna come back because I got a few more other videos I need to do plus I have to figure out what I want to do because I want to do the giveaway okay smooches bye